We'll find out when we're editing. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Some, sometimes it's like that. Yes. Hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Kelsey, we all make choices in life. The NFTs are never a good one. Welcome back to another movie commentary and reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're, we're the, the movie, movie buds. buds. Cinderella, the 2015 version. Yeah, we all know the Cinderella story. It's been done many times. Mm -hmm. Some of the adaptations done here. This yeah. one, I think, is about as close to the original as we've done so far. Right. So Sam's seen this one, but I have not. Yeah. So I enjoyed me. Lily James's performance. Oh, just before we get into it, me and Maria, my girlfriend, recently started our own channel. It's social commentary. If you want to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay. Yeah, some of these Disney opening scene transitions I do like. Yeah, they're getting creative with them. I mean, that one, that one was pretty chill. Yeah. It was good. There was a girl. See if you can pick who the narrator is. Called Ella. And she saw the world not always as it was, but as it could be. Well, what the fuck? What? I got nothing. Magic baby? For her mother and father, she was a princess. Ruler of her own little kingdom, where her people had lived for generations. Fucking real nice little cottage in the mm -hmm. woods, I guess. Yeah. Let the little ones have their share. Gus, Gus. You're a house mouse, not a garden mouse. He's just a mouse. Do you still believe that they understand you? I believe that animals listen and speak to us. She's one of those people. I see. Yeah. Who looks after us? Well, I mean, in this world, I guess it's true. <laughs> yeah. This is Disney. Fairy godmothers. You believe in them? I believe in everything. <laughs> That's a very wide statement. Except for vaccines. <laughs> I don't believe in those, darling. <laughs> Her father was a merchant. Where are my girls? My beautiful girls! Hiding from you? Yeah. Ella missed him terribly when he was away. He would always return. This is Still haven't picked the narrator? No. Okay. I probably won't at all. Until you see her face. I see. It's the fairy godmother, right? Yeah. I think. There may be something inside. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, some work went into this one. Hmm. That is un papillon. I like that they worked in a little bit of French because mm -hmm. that's where the story is originally from. Mm -hmm. You're standing on my feet! <laughs> Didn't want to actually make them French, of course. No, no, oh. absolutely not. Oh. They knew themselves to be the most happy of families. <laughs> Privileged fox. Well, they only have so much to compare their lives to <laughs> <Yeah>. as well. <laughs> Ella's not seen the scores of surfs they employ. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. sick. But sorrow can come to any kingdom. Yeah, unfortunately, that is how life works. It's gonna collapse. Of course. <laughs> yeah, kind of easy to predict that one. I was like, oh, I thought they were going to do a more subtle, you know, showing of her getting sick that no, fucking they always collapse. Hey, <laughs> they only have so much time, okay? Yeah. I want to tell you a secret that will see you through all the trials that life can offer. Oh, recognize her? Nope. <laughs> nice. I'm really bad at this <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Haley Atwell. Agent Carter. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, dude, she looks so different with the blonde hair. I know, right? Have courage and be kind. As power and magic. Magic, truly. She's like, why can't magic save you now, mom? Hush, darling. <laughs> That's not how that works. I promise. I must go very soon, my love. I wonder if she's super in tune or if she just doesn't want her daughter to actually watch her die. Yeah. Get her out of here before it happens. Probably. Kind of thing. Yeah, it depends. Some people want to be there right till the very last moment, but mm. others are like, go oh. now so you don't see the worst part of it. Absolutely, for sure. And it's kind of hard to gauge whether she should or shouldn't be there. Yeah, she's a kid. Yeah. And pain turned to memory. Uh, the classic time heals all. It doesn't. Makes a lot room. Of things. It, Makes it room gives, for it. It gives you opportunity. Mm. In her heart, Ella stayed the same, for she remembered her promise to her mother. Have courage and be kind. I mean, if you're going to live by two things, those are yeah. two pretty good things. Good ideals. Father, however, was much changed. Yeah, never quite the same. But he does look like a hopeful man. Yeah. Thus ends Mr. Peeps for today. Oh, I do love a happy ending, don't you? Mr. Peeps? Yeah. I thought for a second that she was just reading his old journal or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she calls her dad Mr. Peeps. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that it's time to begin a new chapter. I think it would have been I time a while back, but see. you know. I made the acquaintance of Sir Francis Tremaine. The poor man has died, alas. His widow is now free for the taking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finds herself alone 
though still in the prime of her life. You're gonna love this casting choice. Okay. Yeah. You're worried about telling me you mustn't be, if it will lead to your happiness. They're just taking a well. Hey, courage and kindness. Yeah, exactly. Do you think I may be allowed one last chance? Imagine she just says no. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you need to be miserable for the rest of your life. Otherwise, you never really loved mom. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you just be lonely? Yeah. <laughs> Just you'll merely be your stepmother, and you'll have two lovely sisters. Mm. Mm, lovely. Uh -huh. Welcome, ladies. She's skinny as a brook, and that stringy hair. Cool. Well, they could play. Well, they're judging her for skinniness, and they're all roughly around the same size. Mm. Would you like a tour of the house? What did she say? She wants to show us around her farmhouse. She's proud of it. Isn't this like a lordship? Oh god. I, I don't love the really cat. No. I love that she's just got a cat on a leash. <laughs> I love that the cat is called Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> her stepmother to be too had known grief. But she wore it wonderfully well. Yeah, while well, the two daughters' dresses are terrible. Look mm. at that. Yeah, this is um fucking nice. This is style. And oh wait, shit. Oh fuck. Who's this? Who's this? Who's Who this? Better to pull it off than Kate Blanchett. <laughs> oh shit. Yep. <laughs> Unpatriotic. Don't help me for this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm not. I'm really not good with this shit. <laughs> Which is of course why I decided to watch movies for a living. Mm. You did not say your daughter was so beautiful. Oh, well, she takes after her. <laughs> It's okay. Her mother. Yes. Obviously, she takes after her mother. <laughs> I mean, that look in her eye, I don't think he was allowed to say it. <laughs> I know, but he should be, yeah. right? How long has your family lived here? Over 200 years. And in all that time, they never thought to decorate. What is all of this? I know, right? You think you are in earnest. It's not necessarily to my taste, but Jesus. Yeah, you don't have to like it, but don't gaslight the man. Yeah. You did nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> you think this is decorating? <laughs> You're acting crazy. <laughs> Ella's stepmother set out to restore life and uh, laughter to the house. Yeah. Oh, sure. Who doesn't mm -hmm. love a good gambling party? Sure. The dad said he wanted to be happy again. Yeah. <laughs> gambling and booze. The quickest way to it, right? That's the best recipe, at least in my experience. Look who's having a party of their own. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yes, what do you think you're up to, Lucifer? I mean, what do you think? About to murder some mice. Well, he's Lucifer, so yeah. he wants to consume souls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Plenty of cat food to keep you happy. It's not about the food, it's about the thrill of the hunt. Yeah. You're missing the party. Uh, imagine as much like all the other ones. Ah, okay, he's not involved. No. I'm leaving first thing. Yeah. You're hardly back from the last trip. It's just a few months, my darling. Fucking few months. Yeah, God just. Damn. Yeah. What would you like me to bring you home from a brawl? Uh, stepsisters asked for parasols lace. That makes sense. I imagine he's got to make more trips because of their expensive taste. Probably. Bring me the first branch your shoulder brushes on your journey. Curious request. Yeah, you're a weirdo. Yeah, takes after her mom. Mm. And when you bring it back, it means that you'll be with it. Sure. Nice sentiment, still weird. Yeah. You could have done that with any other object. And that's what I really want. No matter what. No, she misses her dad. But it is sweet. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, it is, it is. Very sweet. I mean, why doesn't she just go with him on the trip? Maybe she's not allowed. I want you to be good to your stepmother and stepsisters. Though they may be, you know, massive bitches. Mm. <laughs> Trying at times. Perfect time to be listening in on their private conversation. Oh yeah. I always leave a part of me behind, Ella. Your mother's here too, though, though you see her not. I buried her heart <laughs> in the fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> Put it right under the floorboards. If you listen carefully, you can still hear it beating. <laughs> I miss her. Oh, that's fucked up. Do you? No, I got tired of that woman years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. Kind of? Not not literally. Yeah, not directly. <laughs> yeah. Ella dear. Come to Mama. <laughs> Mustn't love. Yes, stepmother. Madam will do. Oh, God, yes. yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Anastasia and Drizella have always shared a room. Dear affectionate girls. Yep. Sure. That's what they are. They're finding the sleeping quarters rather confining. My bedroom's the biggest besides yours and father's. Perhaps, perhaps they'd like to share it. Mm. Oh, yeah, she's... What a wonderful idea. Leading her into it. Mm -hmm. Taking advantage of that kind heart. Yep. And stay in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The attic. Yes. Well, I have all the other rooms redecorated. How many other rooms are there? Even more cozy if you kept all 
this up there. Yeah. It's all your shit. How about let's just remove any trace of you and your family from this house? Yes, yeah, that's, that's the idea. Is she like planning on assassinating her dad? I don't know, yeah. She has come to this conclusion pretty early. Yeah. Hell of an addict though. Yeah, actually, I mean like with some cleaning up and mm. proper furnishing, this would actually be really nice. It's just the mission that it takes to get up there. Yes. No one shall disturb me here. Yeah, cozy is uh, not the word I'd choose. It's fucking massive. We all know that sometimes you want to watch a movie on your favorite streaming service, but you can't because it's blocked in your country. So what do you do? You get Surfshark VPN. With Surfshark, your data's protected, so you can pretend like you're traveling all around the world. Even though you never left your bedroom or even bothered getting dressed, there's also some add-on security perks like Surfshark Alerts, which gives you alerts in real time about any breaches in your online security. Or Surfshark Antivirus, which you can set to perform full scans of your devices on a schedule and get real-time protection. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 95 countries, so almost anywhere you want to go, Surfshark has a server that will fit your needs. You can use MultiHop to double up on your protection and put two VPN servers between you and your destination for even more security. And they also have military-grade encryption, so all your data is blurred, and anyone who might see it won't be able to read anything. Head over to Surfshark VPN using our link and enter our promo code, THEMOVIEBUDS, to get 83% off and three extra months for free. That's promo code, THEMOVIEBUDS, to get 83% off and three extra months for free. Oh. Hey guys. Hello, Gus Gus. So they kind of incorporated the mice from the original. Yes. You can do it. Although, okay, to be clear, I do not remember the original at all. I just remember that they talked and they had clothes. Our little sister up there talking to the wood animals. Talking to the mice? <laughs> yeah. Get what? fucking informed. No cats. <sighs> no stepsisters. Yeah, uh, they caught that, huh? We have a half wit for a sister. She's mad. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, she now has to learn how to not say shit out loud because there's actual dickheads in the house. Oh, yeah. She's never had that experience before. Nope. Parents seem to be pretty nah, open. I mean, so. everybody, even like all the servants, serving staff and everything seem really nice. Thank you, Miss Ella. You're welcome. As much as it's nice that she's helping because mm. she considers these people part of her family. Yeah, for sure. Mornings did not agree with Ella's stepsisters and they lacked accomplishment in such domestic arts as keeping house. They lacked accomplishment in any art. Oh, so they just suck overall. <laughs> I love Tremaine's face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> as terrible as this is, I think she's actually capable of doing it good, like the actor. Oh, yeah, for sure. She's deliberately singing off key. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bitch. You'd think she'd be harsher on her biological daughter's because she'd want them to like, you know, represent her well. Yeah, I don't think she understands the whole cause and effect situation. Mm, yeah. So she's like, if I pamper my children, they'll totally end up like accomplished. Yeah. Which I don't understand how that works. It just doesn't. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. you know, but how do you get to that thought process? Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think the mice should probably stop hanging out downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Who shut up? <laughs> you know, if you got her a singing teacher, she might learn better. Uh, yeah, I know, right? To be clear, <laughs> Singing bothered. <laughs> is really difficult to learn on your own. You can yeah. do it. Some people do. Yeah. But having a great mentor is so important. I just don't really understand this idea of I'm going to just let them be shit, but I also like all the prestige and stuff like that. So having kids who are capable and accomplished mm. is better for your reputation. Yeah. So why wouldn't you want them to learn? And act? I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. She's, yeah. It's, it's part of the story. It's part it's of the story. The letters that father would send from his travels every day would bring his thoughts until late one afternoon. Mm. Farmer John's got some bad news. She's already wearing black. Yep. She knew. He took ill on the road. He's passed on this. Yeah, they never make it clear how much she does or doesn't know or feel or whatever, but... I'm sus as shit to the fact that she was already wearing black. Mm. He spoke mm. only of you, miss, and your mother. Man, everything everyone says around the stepmother and stepsisters is just <laughs> not good. I know. But what about my legs? My parasol. Oh, fuck. Fuck you both. Yeah. <laughs> None of that matters. Now they don't have money. Yeah. We're ruined. See? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lady Tremaine's got... She knows what's really important. Mm. How will we live? It's not like they have a nice house or a nice farm that can actually produce more money and doesn't mm. necessarily need him. But that would require them to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would require them to actually run the farm. It must have been very difficult for you. 
Oh, she's still just considering I know. other people I know, the right? whole time. <laughs> yeah. She's a compassionate human. Yeah. Unfortunately, you get with a lot of people who are very compassionate that they have trouble extending that to themselves. Yeah. it's uh, It all goes outwards, but very little yeah. of it goes inwards. Yeah. I feel like it's an uneven perspective, but mm. they think that they're taking care of themselves as much as anyone else. Yes, but, but they don't realize. Not. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking brutal. Yeah, it is. You saw it coming, obviously, but yeah. Economies had to be taken. Ella's stepmother dismissed the household. Yeah. Yeah, can't afford them. Yeah. And I like how they kind of took the source material pretty seriously. Yeah, they did, eh? They weren't just like, oh, you know, and she had parents, but they're gone now. Yeah. It was actually showing how we got to this point. Her stepmother and stepsisters misused her. Naturally. They considered Ella less a sister than a servant. And I like that it was a gradual transition. Because that's how shit like this happens. Yeah. This was a good thing that distracted her from her grief. Oh, yeah. Fucking great thing. At least that was what her stepmother said. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Not a good thing, but you can see how she ended up going along with it. Oh, yeah, of course. Mm. But yeah, that's kind of what I mean, is they took the time to fill in a few little details mm. just to make sure that's like, it makes sense. Yeah, it all works. Just to flesh it out more. Yeah. They did share with her the scraps from their table. Jesus Christ, guys. Dude, how is she not skinnier, though? Her friends were very little. Have dinner with me, won't you? That amount of food is starving. Movie magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. But you know what I mean. Yeah, she would be pretty emaciated. Yeah. Those friends she had, she treated with an open heart. Still gives away some of her food, even though she's barely got enough to go on herself. Yeah. I mean, luckily the mice don't require a whole oh, lot yeah. of sharing. Yeah, you know, it's a good thing she didn't make friends with a bunch of dogs or something. Yeah. Sometimes the drafty attic was too cold to spend the night in. Yeah. She lay by the dying embers to keep warm. Oh, Christ. I mean, shit, I would have been surprised if she would even have enough energy to get up the damn stairs. Well, they got to do this because she's got to go from Ella to Cinderella. Cinderella, yeah. Somehow. It's not the first time we've seen a take like this. Ella, what's that on your face? It's ash from the fireplace. You'll get cinders in our tea. I've got a new name for her. Honestly, there's not even that much. I know, it's just barely any. Cinderella. Oh, girls, mm. you're too clever. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Mm. I mean, I'd say it's clever from the writer's perspective, not from them. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's probably the smartest thing she's ever said or done, yeah. so. Who's this for? <sighs> it's my place. Too much to expect you to prepare breakfast and still sit with us. <laughs> Wouldn't you prefer to eat when all the work is done, Cinderella? Yeah, just rubbing that in. No better way to communicate that a character is evil than have them wear an all leopard print outfit. <laughs> 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 Which sucks, because I'm like, yes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people find like animal prints to be kind of cringe, but I'm like, I fucking love them so much. It is. That's one of the reasons <laughs> they're great. What makes it so good. Yeah. Obviously, it has to be faux. Yeah. No, obviously. Yeah. I said print. <laughs> yeah, this, this poor bitch. Yeah. Names have power. It seemed to her that her stepmother and stepsisters had transformed her into a creature of ash. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, over time, shit like that just wears you down. Sadly, it's like you give a little, you give a little more, and you give a little more, yeah. and sooner or later, you don't have anything left. Even a person of very strong resolve eventually oh, of course. crumbles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap, that's a huge stag. That is a hell of a stag. Now, oh, hunting party. Mm -hmm. Run. It's like, I was running and then you fucking came along. Yeah. Perhaps it was just as well for had she not run to the forest, she might never have met the prince. Oh, okay. So we're uh, changing this up a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's more like the original. I don't know. Well, from the versions I've seen, it's not that far off. Mm. Let's be real. Miss! Miss, are you all right? They usually end up meeting like in the woods or a fucking field or somewhere yeah. random. I always knew from the original they met at the party. Oh yeah, like in the actual yeah, yeah, original yeah. animated, the first time they met was at the party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at point the taken. Ball. I'm just talking about the adaptations right, and right. stuff, yeah. You've nearly frightened the life out of the stag. What's he ever done to you that you should chase him about? He had meat that we wanted to eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is a friend of yours. We met just now. I looked into his eyes and I just felt he had a great deal left to do with his life. Seriously, dude, you are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you shouldn't be this deep in the forest alone. I'm not alone, I'm with you. I'm with the king in the north. <laughs> what do they call you? I'm Rob Stack. They call me Kit, or well, my father does, when he's in a good mood. Wait, he calls you Kit when he's in a good mood? Okay. I'd hate to hear what he calls you in a bad mood. <laughs> Where do you live, Mr. Kit? At the palace. My father's teaching me his trade. You're an apprentice? Yes. Yeah, sure. That's not untrue. He is an apprentice. Okay. Do they treat you well? Better than I deserve, most likely. At least he's humble. And you? They treat me as well as they are able. I'm sorry. 
I love how he recognized from what she said what she meant. Yes. Sharp boy. Mm. It's not so very bad. Others have it worse, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. We must simply have courage and be kind. I mean, yes to all of that, but... Don't compare your struggles to that of others. You only end up in a worse place. Well, it's just a good way to underestimate how much you're actually going through. Yes. It's like, yes, are there other people who have it worse? Yeah. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. For sure. But, I mean, it's a tactic abusers use yeah. to get you to not question how they're treating you. Because oh, it's so not don't that do it, bad. So don't do it to yourself. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. Know? Keep that in mind. Mm. You know, yes, there will always be other people who have it bad, but that doesn't mean that the shit you're going through doesn't suck. Yeah, there's a difference between keeping a positive mindset Set and that. Mm. Please don't let them hurt him. We're hunting, you see, it's what's done. Just because it's what's done doesn't mean it's what should be done. Right again? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wow, you're very clever, aren't you, dirty servant girl? <laughs> <laughs> there you are, your heart. It's Kit! I'm Kit! I'm on my way! <laughs> well, we'd better get a move on, Mr. Kit. Yes, I am Kit. I am high, that's right. I'm yes. totally high. The high as a as a kit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing royal going on here. No. Just a run of the mill, well dressed. Stoner. <laughs> I hope to see you again, miss. And are you? And naturally, he doesn't want his reputation to precede him because he likes having a genuine interaction with someone. Yeah, I've seen variations of this story. In fact, the last movie was almost kind of this yeah. thing from the boyfriend mm. or love interest, whatever. Subtle, but yeah, I like the way you played that. You can see the chemistry, mm. like like a little bit of a, a little bit of a spark. Mm. Well, he seems genuinely intrigued. Yeah, it's like who is this woman? Huh. Who is who is this person? I'm just so engaging and mm. intelligent, and you know, it's like it's nice that that seems to be where the chemistry is coming from. Yeah, more so than oh my god, they're hot. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling he's like, well, she made me think. Yeah, <laughs> she was a pretty girl, but there was so much more to her. <laughs> yeah. How could you know anything about her? You told me you knew right away when you met mother. You can know a decent amount of things from a person from first impressions. Mm. Not everything. Yeah. And my father would have told me what I'm telling you. And I would have listened. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Wouldn't. You're right. <laughs> 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 okay, I like the dad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's not too stubborn. How is he? Your Majesty. Why is everybody's parents dying? It's Disney. It takes that long to work out a way to say it. I already know. Smart man, too. Yeah. He does seem older than um, Ella's dad. Mm. Punctuality is the politeness of princes. Well, you say that, but <laughs> he's only like 45. Yeah. <laughs> I said older. <laughs> it will not do to let the stag go free. Just because it's what's done doesn't mean it's what should be done. Nice. Make him look marriageable, Master Phineas. We Bring it back. Show him what you learnt, man. <laughs> yeah. Turn around, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> so these portraits will really be sent abroad. Induce the high and mighty attenders ball yep. you insist upon. They're all coming here for your balls. Oh, yes. Big, <laughs> voluptuous, royal balls. <laughs> Could I not wed a good honest country girl? How would she make the kingdom stronger? I want to see you and the kingdom safe. Like I get that his dad at least has his best interests at heart. Mm. On one condition. Let the invitations go to everyone. Great idea. It's beyond my wit, your majesty. I wouldn't mind a bit of a jolly. I don't yeah. think it is beyond his wit. <laughs> yeah. A ball for the people and a princess for the prince, if you ask we me. We didn't ask you. <laughs> know your place, painter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down to not that way, I'm on the ground. Oh, too far. Actually, this is a very good angle for you. Great nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite moments in the movie. Where they came up with that little comedy bit, I don't know, but that was great. That was, that was good, yeah. Also, I like how even the dad was like, you can't know that you're in love with someone after meeting them one time. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like an arranged marriage where you just have to marry them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's taken the time to think about each thing. Yeah, I know. Why do you stay there when they treat you so? Because I made my mother and father a promise. They loved our house, and now that they're gone, I love it for them. Also for yourself. Oh, yeah. Cut! <laughs> I love that the tongue actually shut up. <laughs> there shall be held a royal ball. Unfortunately, the prince lost the other one in a hunting accident. <laughs> so you can only see a ten for one. You can only see one. The prince shall choose a bride. Every maiden in the kingdom is invited to attend. It's exciting. I like that it was invited, mm. not is required to yeah, yeah, attend. Yeah. If you want to be there and meet the prince, you can. Mm. Take your chance. And also, she doesn't know he's a prince, yeah. so the interaction is not kind of like influenced by some people saying like, oh, she only went to the ball so that she could hitch up with a rich guy mm. and, you know. Yeah, she literally just thinks that he's an apprentice at the castle. Yeah, yeah. One of you must win the heart of the prince and we can unwind the debt in which we were ensnared when we came to this backwater. A princess! <laughs> 
Ooh. Good luck, girls. And tell that seamstress to run us up three fine ball gowns. That's very thoughtful of you. Mummy, she believes the other dress is for her. Yeah. <laughs> You're too ambitious for your own good. Uh. One gown for Anastasia, one for Gisela, and one for me. A la mode parisienne. She doesn't know what that means. Je vais mon occuper. The yeah, end. like... Bitches, come on. The only person in the house who actually speaks French. I know, right? Like, come on. She's pretty well educated <laughs> before you rocked up and, you know, that didn't go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this does actually feel like a great way to train. Yeah, that seems like a really good way for someone to lose an eye. Anyone slips and just, like, swings the sword to the left or right. Yeah, actually. Your mystery girl may come to the ball. That is why you threw the doors open. It was for the benefit of the people. How shallow of me. Yeah, I'm a people, yeah. and it's for my benefit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and you will tell her you're a prince. May take whichever bride he wishes. That's what he's doing. Yeah. If this girl from the forest is as charming as you say, they may change their minds. So she's got to agree to it. Mm, well, not for them. Uh, uh, I don't think. I, I really hope he wouldn't enforce that. Well, he wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, <but> yeah. <laughs> Ties up. Oh, yeah. You do need to be able to breathe, dude. Drizella's taking it to the max. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we must compete for the prince's hand, not mean we harbor dark thoughts against each other. But that's all you guys do. That's, yeah, that's your whole dynamic. I bet you have never, ever spoken to a man. It's actually almost true. I have once. Literally one time. Yeah, that one time. Some apprentice. He was an apprentice. Yeah. I love that she's just like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And yeah. literally never even crossed her mind. No. <laughs> she's like, that would be great. Yeah. Oh, prince charming, you're so nice. <laughs> Ella actually felt pity for these two schemers. These fucking children. Yeah. But yeah, I can see how she might feel a little sorry for them, despite her position. They are not happy. Yeah, no. There's a, like, oh, I can't hate you so much as just pity you. <laughs> if her stepmother would not have a fourth dress made, there's no reason why she would not try to run it up herself. She did have a little help. A lots of little help. Oh, yeah. She's got a little sweatshop going there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Miss Magic Lady. Girls, to see you like this. Oh, God. Yeah, just horrible. Ah. Uh, like, sh again, Kate looks fantastic. I know, it's... And to think I have two horses in the race. Horses is right. <laughs> I, I, know, I was going to say. No, you know what? That's an insult to horses. Mm. Cinderella. It was my mother's old dress, you see. No one wants a servant for a bride. Other servants might. I don't even want to meet the prince. No, and you won't, because there's no question of your going. Why are you so worried about her going? All of the maidens of the land are invited. It would be an insult to take her to the palace dressed in these old rags. Sure. She says standing next to her daughters. I know, her dress actually looks nice. This was my mother's. Your mother's taste was questionable. Fucking says you. Well, okay, she's wearing a really nice outfit. This is true, yes. But it's practically falling to pieces. <gasps> yeah, this is bullshit. Does she not approve of her daughter's dresses, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How could you? I will not have anyone associate my daughters with you. Yeah, because they'll look fucking terrible next yeah, to her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ragged servant girl. That is what you are. Oh, my God. You shall not go to the ball. When the headliner gets outplayed by the opening act. Pretty much, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you'll never be this good. Okay, sure. <laughs> I actually did feel genuinely sad in a lot of these moments and it's like, I've seen many versions of Cinderella. They're selling it very well. Yeah. I'm sorry, mother. I said I'd have courage, but I don't. I don't believe anymore. Excuse me. <gasps> Oh shit, mm -hmm. fucking camouflaged. Oh yeah. It's a little crust of bread. Or... Not the greatest makeup. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yes, yes, I think I can find something for you. Wow, right off the bat, mm. still just like, get something for this lovely lady. Yeah, <laughs> this lovely stranger in my home. Yeah. Why are you crying? It's nothing. Hold on, is that Helena Bonham Carter? But kindness makes it everything. Yes! Fucking <laughs> He still got it. I was wondering if you would get it with the makeup. Yeah, well, the makeup is not great. No. <laughs> but also, though, I've seen Helena Bottom Carter in a lot of makeup, considering all the Tim Burton movies she's been in. You really haven't got long, Ella. Who are you? I should think you'd have worked that one out. I'm your hairy dog father. I'm your hairy godmother. <laughs> she is hairy. <laughs> they don't exist. Didn't your own mother believe in them? Yes, but my mother was a child. Yeah. <laughs> first things first. Let me slip into something more comfortable. Like a new person? Yeah, new skin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, much better. I don't know. I kind of liked the other dress a little more. The actual like, outfit? Yeah, the outfit. Sure, but the makeup was killing Not me. the makeup. <laughs> what we need is coach. We do have pumpkins. Hello, my strangely orange vegetable friend. I think it's very appropriately orange. Oh, yep. heavy pumpkin. 
mind the mice. I think her fairy godmother is drunk. <laughs> yeah, she might be. Yeah. Just a little buzzed. Turn the pumpkin into the carriage. Of course. How could I have not thought of that myself? Mm -hmm. You think that you'd still want to take the pumpkin out of the greenhouse? Yeah, I actually. Guess? Even if it fits in there, mm -hmm. how are you going to get it out? Yeah. If it does get much bigger. Yeah. Those are some legit concerns. Yeah. That's not really how this works. You, you, <laughs> you think this would just straight up crush them? Yeah, actually. But no, they escaped. Of course. I don't know how. <laughs> I got nothing. But you know what? Magic. Yeah, sure. Yep. Oh, okay. We're doing a whole lot of this. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing that oh. she used some of the material from the actual greenhouse yes. as well. Okay. Yeah, this makes sense. You really are my fairy godmother. I don't go about transforming pumpkins for just anybody. Well, no, she definitely doesn't because obviously she's barely ever done this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it oh, if they I just see. stayed tiny, though. Yeah. <laughs> Four white charges. He is going to stay that way? I think they stay that way for a surprising amount of time. Okay. Yeah. Carriage, horses. Uh, I really think that would have drawn all the wrong kinds of attention. And yet, something. that's what they went with. Hello, lovely Mr. Lizard. Oh, lizards, okay. And I bet you being one of these lizards and just being so fucking confused. Yeah, just being like, I I did not consent to this. Yeah. Now, I need that coachman. Did I say coachman? I meant goose. I guess Mr. Goose was here for a reason, right? Yeah, sure. I can't drive. I'm a goose. Fair. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you assume any of us can do this job? Mm. Oh, oh, okay. The, yeah, the, there you go. Yeah, the ears are gone. Okay. I can't go in this dress. No, 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 I'll turn it into something new. Oh, no, please don't. I'm fucking up everything tonight. Why <laughs> stop now? <laughs> this was my mother's. And I'd like to wear it when I go to the palace. That's nice, though. Yeah, the sentiment is fucking lovely. I understand. <laughs> but she wouldn't mind if I cheered off a bit? <laughs> I mean, a little. <laughs> just like, I understand. I just don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic transformation, guys. Mm. I actually do love this. Kind of a cool effect. No, they were definitely showing off the budget here. Oh, yeah. They're like, we got Disney money. Yeah. <laughs> the one problem here is that they're like, this is not your mother's dress anymore. Yeah, no, she did not just G it up a bit. It's very, very different. Totally <laughs> different design. <laughs> it's also covered in insects. Yeah. <laughs> She'd love it. You'll be late! By the time she leaves the ball, her, all that top part is just eaten by the butterflies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they're just dead falling off. Yeah. <laughs> just a moment. Ah. Yeah. No, it's alright, no one will see them. Take them off. Yeah. <laughs> Under the dress, <laughs> this giant dress that no one can see. But yeah, obviously we've got to have the glass no, slippers. No, we have to. So. It's non-negotiable. Kind of a weird Cinderella movie if it didn't have the glass slippers. Yeah. Made of glass. You think they'd be super uncomfortable though. And you find they're really comfortable. I saw some post about how the original translation yeah. for like the glass shoe also could have been like fur boots. Oh, okay. okay. So that's interesting. Sure. <laughs> Don't know if it's true, but you know. Mm. Well, at least in this case, it's like they're comfortable because magic. Yeah, precisely. Which, fair enough. My stepmother and the girls, I'll make sure they don't recognize you. At the last stroke of midnight, the spell will be broken. That's more than enough time. They say that's more than enough time, but they'd have not told us at all what time it is now. They say it's more than enough time, but every time I see this story, she's time. like bailing out at the last second. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I think they just made up a bunch of countries for of this. Of course they did. Which, you know, makes sense. Lady Germaine and her daughters. Oh, Jesus. This guy is looking at her like, Okay. Uh, I'm Drisella. I'm Anastasia. People will want to know. No one wants to know. Very clever, Miss Drisella. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh. uh, committed to his job. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he wants to kill himself. Oh, yes. Who are you looking for? Looks like girl in the forest, doesn't it? He's got those hungry eyes. <laughs> hungry eyes. <laughs> That's why you were so generous with the invitations. Oh, my head's been turned. We should only met her once. He sees it. Mm -hmm. And you would have me marry someone I met once tonight. It's a princess or nothing. Uh, he's basically like, look, if you don't know anything about her, could you at least do something for the kingdom? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I do appreciate that he's not saying this because he's just a stubborn old piece of shit. Yeah, it's like, they were at war, they need the money, you know, there's other reasons. They're a small kingdom. Mm, that too, yeah. There's a lot of politics involved. Well, I think they're worried about getting taken over. Yes. You know what I mean? That makes sense. But it does explain why they can have this royal ball that's open to every maiden in the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small kingdom. Yeah, fair. So only so many. 
I'm frightened, Mr. Lizard. I'm only a girl, not a princess. And I'm only a lizard. Very obviously. Yeah. Look at this guy. So if you didn't know he was a lizard, you'll look at him and be like, oh, dude. He looks like something from my nightmares. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she arrives late and gets the special entrance. Yeah. Ah, the benefits of arriving fashionably late. Oh, yeah. It's so funny because if Tremaine had just let her come yeah. with them, she wouldn't have stood out as much. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, she's so polite. She has the curtsy. She never forgot her manners. And again, you can see like how she's just happy to be here. Yeah. Yes, Marvel bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I felt this one more, I feel like, than other adaptations. Mm. Well, it seems like they've put the work into the characters to make it work even for a modern lens. Yeah. Well, and, you know, the main people you're supposed to like genuinely are yeah. kind, intelligent people. And they show that. Yes. They do more than just tell you. Yeah, 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 exactly. Fucking C's part. Yeah. You know? To everyone else, it must look like he's just such a fucking shallow bastard. Like, yeah. oh yeah, of course you go for the pretty girl in the nice dress who <laughs> came last and got everyone's attention, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Your Highness. He thinks that she's actually a princess. Yeah. She hasn't realized that he's the prince everyone's waiting yeah. for. <laughs> if you would do me the honor of letting me lead you through this, the first dance. Yes. No, the first sandwich. <laughs> I wonder if she's, at which point she's realizing that he's actually the fucking prince. Maybe she's realized already. They're all looking at you. Yeah, she's, here she yeah, is. Yeah. They're all looking at you. It's good though, because it doesn't taint why they're falling for each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They kind of treat his status like it's just a little icing on the cake for her. Well, yeah, which, which is, it should be. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Who is she? I have no idea. Mystery lady. You like how the dad's really paying attention? Yeah. Trying to see what his son sees. But for real, everyone's still just watching them. I wonder if she's like 100% aware that she's being stared at or if she's just <laughs> yeah. lost in the moment. I think she's a bit lost in the moment at this point. For sure. Who is that, Mama? I'm not exactly sure. I must turn that prince's head, you fools. It's somewhat nice for the stepsisters that people wanted to dance with them. I don't think it's nice for the people who are dancing with them. No, but you know, <laughs> someone's got to take one for the team. So you're the prince. Oh, now she, okay, she realized. Yeah. There are plenty of princes in the world. I'm only a prince. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. But you're no apprentice. No, he is. I am an apprentice monarch. It's still learning my trade. Yeah. It's not a trade. <laughs> is it not? No. <laughs> I thought you might treat me differently if you knew. I mistook you for a good, honest country girl. But yeah, look, well, he didn't tell her the whole truth. It yeah, wasn't no. a lie. It wasn't. He wasn't deliberately being deceitful or anything. No, he just wanted to tell her the parts that she wouldn't have preconceived notions over. Exactly. Won't they miss you at the ball? Maybe, but let's not go back just yet. It's like, who cares? <laughs> yeah. I'm expected to marry for advantage. Well, whose advantage? The kingdoms. Yeah. <laughs> Very easy question to answer, though. Surely you have a right to your own heart. I must weigh that against the king's wishes. It's complicated. Yeah, for sure. Perhaps he'll change his mind. I don't have a lot of respect for monarchies, but no. I would be lying if I said I thought it would be easy to shoulder all that responsibility. Straight up. I fear he hasn't much time to do so. Poor kid. People are saying she's a princess. People will say all sorts of crap in yeah. crowd, you know what I'm saying? People talk shit. Went straight for him. You have to appreciate her efficiency. Well, yeah, he's the only person there that she knows. If she is a princess, it may be good. I already promised him in marriage to the Princess Selina. Was that your right, buddy? That, yeah, no, man. Who said you could do that? Mm. Did not mean to intrude. <laughs> Yeah, you did. Your secret is safe with me. She didn't mean to intrude, she meant to eavesdrop. Yes, <laughs> true. Secret garden. Please. And a secret swing. <laughs> yeah. You should. Shouldn't. You should. I will. Changed her mind pretty quick. <laughs> May I? Please. I feel like that's the ideal. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Mm. Oh, and that's how it came off. No, just now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to show that they're not the snuggest fit. I think so. It's made of glass. And why not? Because it's super fragile. Because <laughs> pain. Because <laughs> if you break that while you're wearing it, you might die from yeah. the lacerations. Yeah. Won't you tell me who you really are? I think everything might be different. Can you at least tell me your name? Yeah, because she's not royal. Mm -hmm. And of course, in her head, it's like, well, this can't last forever. So. Yeah, because they want him to marry a princess. Mm. I have to leave. 
lizards and, and pumpkins and, and things. Of all the ways to explain, that wasn't it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you for a wonderful evening. I've loved it every second. She had the time to say that, but she couldn't just yeah. yell Ella. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but I guess she maybe doesn't want him to know him because she thinks it's never going to work. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. He's like, she's crazy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm very sorry. Yeah, it seems like this thing was very, very short or hosted very, very late. Yeah. It's like they haven't been there long at all. That's why I was wondering about the time frame of when they were leaving. You yeah. know what I mean? It feels like she's been there for like half an hour. A name you get a name. Oh, oh good one. Buddy, yeah. I wanted to say, Your Majesty, your son Kate is the most lovely person I ever met. I hope you know how much he loves you. Oh. And now he's getting it. Yeah. Look at his face. Like, wait, what? Yeah. What did you just say? She's just so <laughs> abjectly sincere <Yeah. laughs> and, and kind. Yeah, she seems so genuine. Oh, no! And there it is. There it goes. The classic. Of course. Run, boy. You got this. Come back. <laughs> The lizard guys are like, a strange man is chasing her. Better get her out of here, boys. <laughs> she started hearing the strikes, ran out, got in the carriage. Now they're going home. Yeah, I know. How quickly are you getting home? <laughs> She's fucking bolting. I was having a fine old time. You had to go and choose that one, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Prince. Why'd you pick the crazy one? <laughs> Oh God, that seems like a bit much. But I guess he really doesn't want the prince to be uh, falling in love with her. Nah, he's gonna do everything he can to make it look like he's doing what his job, but yeah. you know, they're not. Actually, that's very concerning to think that these guys are literally going out there to try and kill her. Yeah, I don't know if they're doing that, but <laughs> yeah. they're, they're chasing. <laughs> How many times is this going to toll before midnight? How many bell tolls are there before midnight? You'd think there'd be like 12 or maybe 24. I have no clue whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was convenient. I love though, everyone's like, no, nah, we're still going. We can make yeah. it. We Come got on, boys. <laughs> we got time. <laughs> we got this. Should she be getting out of this thing? You'd think so. They're going to keep going until they can't go no more. Yeah. <laughs> real though she's getting crushed yeah in i that know pumpkin. it's more exciting this way yeah but they're relying on pure luck you know yep. what i mean now the mice have been crushed under a pumpkin yep mice are all dead <laughs> that's several broken bones for her but this woman is super lucky she hit that giant tree the pumpkin exploded and she just kept going yeah <laughs> the fact that she landed on her feet yeah just kept, she just started walking too yeah like oh well that was crazy mm -hmm. then why doesn't the shoe change yeah. back I know, but i think that's an age-old question yes <gasps> all right yeah the uh the douchebags mm -hmm. wake up lazy bones you look cheerful and wet I took a walk in the rain to cheer myself up. Yep, that is how I cheer myself up. Yeah, for sure. Just a walk in pouring, the rain. Pouring rain, yeah. <laughs> Dance with you. We didn't even speak to you. It was that girl. The mystery princess. Because you guys put a lot of effort into grabbing his attention. Yeah, I mean, did grab attention, just not for the right reasons. <laughs> Vulgar young hussy marched into the ball. The horror of everyone threw herself at the prince. Actually danced with the ugly thing. It was pity. <laughs> Yeah. She refused to leave and the palace guards chased her from the party. The way people color things, right? Yeah. It's so satisfying when you hear someone else's account of mm -hmm. the same thing and you're like, that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Promised to the princess Shalina of Zaragoza. There you can see Tremaine's a bit oh, yeah. smarter than that. Of course. <laughs> she plays yeah. it so fucking well. I told you you were going to like this casting choice. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad she moved it to somewhere more secure. Mm -hmm. Again, she's only got so many hiding spots. Yeah. Ella couldn't wait to write down all that had happened. She might remember every single bit of it. Does that seem smart? Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I understand the impetus. I guess she thinks, hey, if I can hide it, but mm. it's like, there's always the chance they'll find it. <laughs> yeah. I guess when you're living like that, though, you need some kind of outlet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and of course, it has to bite her in the ass. Yeah. Oh, you've come. Don't go. Yeah, like he has a choice. I was going to say. <laughs> you needn't be alone. Take a bride. That's what he's planning to do. Just not Shalino. Just not her. If I commanded you to do so, I will not. I appreciate that. We need not look outside of our borders for strength or guidance. I also appreciate it. it's not like a big moment that he's like fighting for his rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are just discussing. We need only. Have courage. Be kind to see it. Oh god, this whole thing is just like a xenophobia narrative. Like, we don't need to look to those foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> Become your own man. Yeah. yeah. 
Good. Dad wanted to make sure he was really set. There's a little time left to me. Can become the father you deserve. He was always just worried about him. Yeah. And his tenure as king. I mean, the kingdom too, but mm. still worried about his son. Yeah. He was married for love. Well, especially now that you know that he has that. Precisely. Find that girl. The forgetful one who loses her shoes. <laughs> hey, only one. <laughs> That's still so funny yeah. that that's what everyone remembers. Yes. Thank you, kid. I love you, son. Good moments. Yeah, this is a nice little moment. It's a tough place to be at. Not specifically with the father, just the loss of a loved one when oh, you know yeah, they're no. dying. Once the time for mourning had passed, a proclamation was sent out. So the next day? I appreciate the implication that time is passing, you know? Yeah. Our new king declares his love for Paul. Yeah. I love that he's chuffed. Yeah. <laughs> the mysterious princess wore glass slippers to the ball. Request that she present herself. Again, requests. Mm, yes, if she be willing. Yep. He will marry her. I love the seriousness there. I know, but I love that he's trying to hold back the giddiness. Yeah. He's like, oh my God, he's getting married. Well, whatever emotion, he's yeah. holding it back. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I got a job to do. Yeah, a bit fast tracked, but you know, whatever. We'll give it We'll give it a pass because it's a fairy tale. <laughs> to be fair, I think they filled in a lot more detail than they, they actually did. had to begin with. Yeah, so. they did a lot better than last time, but you know. You know. And yeah. Not so secret. If it's reasonable, this is a surprise for her because Tremaine has literally never come up here ever before. Yeah. <laughs> Are you looking for this? Must be quite a story to go with it. I shall tell yeah. you a story. This is actually really interesting. There was a beautiful young girl who married for love. Her? Her husband died. The next time, she married for the sake of her daughters. I see. That man, too, was taken from her. She was doomed to look upon his beloved child. Even though that's not nearly good enough to behave the way she has. Oh, yeah. I do like that they get into her psychology. Yeah. She had hoped to marry off one of her daughters to the prince. His head was turned by a girl with glass slippers. They went for more than just she's evil. It's yeah. like, she's a piece of shit, but... I lived unhappily ever after. There is depth to it. Hmm. Did you steal it? It was given to me. Nothing is ever given. Hey, just because no one wants to give you anything. Yeah, I know, right? Kindness is free. Love is free. Love is not free. How would you know? Mm-hmm. And did you say you had it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you are married, you will make me the head of the royal household. Ah. The goal of this woman. I shall manage that boy. Like, she's legitimately acting like she has leverage. I know, right? How would you rule a kingdom? Best to leave it to me. Oh, yeah, totally. That way we all get what we want. It's interesting that she has a plan, mm. though, that mm. actually involves using Ella? No. No. She's very adaptable. Yeah. I was not able to protect my father from you, but I will protect the prince. Nice. Yeah. Finally finding her strength. Or selfishness. And selfish isn't a bad thing. You have to be selfish at certain times. I'd say, honestly, yeah, it's just putting herself first. So yes. Yeah. It's uh, that moment where she's like, maybe I've given you too much. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. I think it was more like um, she realized even a little while ago that she had given them too much, but by that point, they had too late. beaten her down so yeah. badly. I'm glad that she's having this moment. She's had enough. That that is a mistake. No! Why are you so cruel? Well, see, she doesn't think that she's cruel. Yeah. I've tried to be kind to you. Kind to me? She doesn't think of it as kindness. Mm. Why? Because you are young, innocent, and good. Just realized her right. own truth and doesn't like it. Right, yeah. It's just So it all just comes down to jealousy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, just that moment of like her being like, oh. Oh, yeah. She's dug herself in too deep now. <laughs> From a ragged servant girl in my household. You told no one else? Not even my own daughters. Yeah, because they would tell everyone. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Idiots can't keep their mouths shut. You've spared the kingdom a great deal of embarrassment. And I should like to keep it that way. Are you threatening me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, the yes. way she said that. See, these two should just hook up. Oh my god, yeah, they're perfect for each other. I should like to be a countess, and I require advantageous marriages for my two daughters. And the girl. Do with her what you will. Yeah, I'm liking even the introduction of this Duke guy, that there's a web of intrigue mm. going on. Where? Abandoned on the side of the road. And have you found her? No, she's disappeared. Be tenacious. <laughs> there must be some reason she vanished. Perhaps she has been prevented from speaking. I like that he's clever enough to think of that. He's not just going to give up. No. The people need to know that the kingdom is secure. Face the future with certainty. Then let us be certain. I say we shall seek out the mystery princess. 
if she's not found. For the good of the kingdom, must marry the Princess Shalina. I mean, it doesn't have to be Shalina. If, for the good of the kingdom. If they don't find her, obviously he's got to find someone else because mm. monarchy and all that. But yeah, the Duke thinks he has way more influence than he does. Yeah. Very well agreed. But your highness. Yeah, I love this guy too. Yeah, yeah. But you will spare no effort. Of course. Yeah, my word. Doesn't trust his mustachioed prick. Yeah, how could you? <laughs> Nothing he says seems genuine. Yeah, plus he's the only character wearing black. Mm, sure. <laughs> But I do like how much of it is through taking advantage of other people's kindness yeah. and leeway and compassion. Mm. That's how horrible people 90% of the time get what they want. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you first, madam. <laughs> Which is not to say people shouldn't be kind or compassionate, just sad but true. Well, you can be kind and compassionate without letting people take advantage mm. of you. Yes, you yes. just have to recognize your own worth. It's a bit swollen. I've been <laughs> Which, yes, <laughs> it's very difficult to recognize your own worth. <laughs> It doesn't fit you. It's mine. No, it's not yours. I am the mystery Get back to shoes. <laughs> I, don't, I, I did always kind of hate the, like, it will only fit this one specific woman. Yeah, I know. But I get that it's a magic thing. Yeah. I like that she even tried with, like, the Vaseline. Yeah. <laughs> Can I try the other foot? I don't think so. It no, that would work less. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. The magical slipper refused even the most eligible of maidens. Yep. <laughs> <Princess>. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! What's wrong, Captain? We haven't found the girl. He wants success. What's wrong? I'm sus to your bullshit. That's what's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Don't lose heart. We must leave no stone unturned. Mother of our traps! <laughs> Always with the ugliest fucking outfits of these two. <laughs> you can't eat me, bitch. Animal social network. <laughs> they were sending a tweet. Ah, nice. <laughs> hey. Ella did not know who was downstairs, nor did she care. Mm. She wrapped up in her memories. Stop it. I thought you trusted the mice. Aren't you guys all friends? It shrunk. When you're depressed, listen to your friends. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Well, unless you have oh. terrible friends. Also, let this poor man go. I know, right? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> the one good thing she's done the whole movie. Though Ella was sad, she knew that the ball would become beautiful memories. She is a very optimistic person. Even when she's at her worst. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's just like, yeah, these memories, that's enough for me to be happy with. Yeah. It's me! She's gonna fart, isn't she? I don't think so. Ah, bad luck, miss. Oh, thank no. God. It's not that kind of movie. Thought this poor bastard was just gonna get a face full. You must love me, Dilly Dilly. Who is Dilly? Is that a name? Is that what you're saying? Otherwise, it's just random fucking words in this <laughs> Whatever. Our task is done, Captain. Fate. May yet be kind to us, girls. Indeed, madam. Oh my god. Could you guys be less <laughs> sus? I know, right? <laughs> just. <laughs> when I Come on, Gus. Yeah, there you go. How about Gus, you lazy fuck? <laughs> you love me. I think uh, this is how she was discovered in the original. Oh, yeah. Just singing through the window. I haven't seen it since I was a little kid. Well, I haven't either. I just think that mm -mm. You know, right now. Do you hear that, New Grace? Let's be off, Captain. Just a moment. Bro. <laughs> nice try, motherfuckers. There is no other maiden in your house? None. Dude. Then why can I hear singing? Has your cat learned to sing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What she could have done is said, after you walked out of the house, one of my daughters walked upstairs and yeah. started singing. Yeah, I know, right? Let's be off. But she's lying. Nonsense. We're leaving. Grand Duke. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. He's not a dipshit. <gasps> oh, that is brilliant. Mm. What sweet singing makes me want to tarry just a little. Fair. Tarry away. You see, I told you, there's no one of any importance. He does. And he actually knows what she looks like, too. Yeah. You are requested to present yourself to your king. I forbid you to do this. And I forbid you to forbid her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uno reverse card. <laughs> Who are you to stop an officer of the king? Are you an empress? A deity? She thinks she's one of those. Who are you, you dusty bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I am her mother. And? You have never been, and you never will be my mother. Damn straight. Yeah. And you got to appreciate just how it's like, if you had just been kind from the get-go, mm -hmm. if you'd just not been an asshole, yeah. this would have worked out for you as well. Just remember who you are, you wretch. And it's so simple. It's just like, don't treat people bad. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I think a big problem is, though, a lot of people think that they're the ones copying the short end of the stick. Yeah. They just don't see that mm. that's not true. Yeah. And then they take it out on other people. Would who she was be enough? This is perhaps the greatest risk to be seen as we truly are. Okay, yeah, that part, yes. Oh, yes, that's sure. fair. To recognize that in yourself. Have courage and be kind. 
Because also, it's have courage and be kind to yourself. Yeah. Not just be kind to others. Well, yeah, she never said have courage and be kind to other people. Yeah, Do you know what only. I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's easy to forget that. Mm, yes. Doing it for yourself is almost harder a lot of the times. Oh, fuck. That almost... Just seeing these guys with their fucking tight as fuck pants. Mm -hmm. Apparently in the dance scene, they couldn't film him below the waist because the prince's <laughs> junk was just like poking out his pants. His royal balls. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I am Cinderella. I like that she owned the Cinderella bit. Yeah. I'm no princess. I have no carriage, no dowry. You got this nice house. I do not even know if that beautiful slipper will fit. Pretty sure it will. If it does, will you take me as I am? An honest country girl who loves you. Yeah, that's all he wanted. That's who he met yeah. from the get-go. Of course I will. But only if you will take me as I am. An apprentice still learning his trade. Okay, I was I was about to rip on him for that, but I'm like, oh, okay, so like, yeah, just seeing him as he is, yeah. as a person. He still has to grow into the role of king, and he knows that. Yes. you will love that. Yeah. A... Oh my god, what the fuck? Perfect timing. Dear sister, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh okay. It's okay. The, the last minute Hail Mary. Yeah. Just sending out that prayer. Oh yeah. They had a little more sense than Tremaine did. <laughs> True. Shall we? Pretty sure in the original fairy tale, mm. like the sisters cut their toes off to try to make the shoe fit, and oh, Tremaine yeah. had her eyes cut out at the end of it as punishments. And yeah, I know about that. All sorts of messed up stuff happened. Man, the original <laughs> fairy tales are just hectic. I know, right? Yeah. I forgive you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Hey, her mom told her, have courage, be kind. Yeah, I suppose. She's doing it. Yeah. Cinderella's stepmother and her daughters would never set foot in the kingdom again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bailing out. <laughs> Actually kind of like other takes where, you know, they have some kind of comeuppance besides just leaving. Yeah, I, but, I think they deserved a little more than that. Hmm. We must have a portrait of you painted. I do hate myself in painting. Be kind. Dude, you are now a queen? Well, she's about to be. <laughs> well, yes. You don't really get the opportunity to not be painted. I mean, maybe. I guess a royal could decide to not have any pictures of them. I mean, I think it was something like you had to be to some capacity so people would know what you looked like. I mean, I would assume, yeah. Mm. But, you know. <laughs> Mr. Go the royal mm. goose. Yep. <laughs> My queen. My kid. <laughs> Getting a bit of an Elsa yeah. look going on. Yeah, my royal kit. Yeah. Kit and Ella were married. And I can tell you, as her fairy godmother, they were kindest rulers the kingdom had known. Love the sentence, but I don't know if you being her fairy godmother gives you any credibility. <laughs> Seems like there's a bit of a bias there. Mm. A bias, B, you're probably still drunk. Yeah. <laughs> And Ella continued to see the world as it could be if you believe in just a little bit of magic. Strong bit of magic, but yeah, yeah I'm I with think, you. I don't think a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I do uh, really appreciate how much they captured the fairy tale essence. Like, yeah, a lot of it was a bit flowery and flouncy, mm, but sure. it works. It works yeah. for the story they were telling. I think um, they took it seriously, mm. but not too seriously. No, yeah, yeah. They, Do you know what I mean? They knew where to apply the right kind of tone. They knew which parts were like, okay, we need to flesh this out a little more and make it a little more serious, you know, yeah. like with the death of the parents and yeah. stuff. But then in other parts, they were like, okay, we can keep that light, airy sort of feel about it. Another thing I really liked about the way they portrayed Cinderella as a person in this is that she stays consistent to her values. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't become like vindictive or petty at any point. She's, mm. she's a kind kind person and she stays a kind person. Cinderella in this is what you'd call um, a static character where rather than a character who goes through experiences mm. and changes mm. and experiences growth along the way yeah. and arrives at like a new kind of version of themselves by the end, mm. she is the same person but is tested yes. through events that happen to her and she has to kind of stay consistent to that. Think um, Captain America versus Iron Man. Sure. No, and I yeah. totally get you. Yeah. And it's hard to make those kind of characters work and make them sympathetic because a lot of time people find them boring, but I think they did a good job. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's that's one of the reasons why it's so great when it does work out well. It's hard mm. to do, so you don't see it done well very often. Yeah, a lot of people just don't give it a chance at all. Absolutely. Like, ah, no, no, we don't want that. We want a more dynamic character. And it's like, it can still work you just got to know what you're doing that's exactly it so yeah i was happy with that really enjoyed it you can kind of see why i wanted to share it with you guys still figuring out what our plans are going forward so until next time you've been with sam steph 
and we're the movie buds. buds.